And in the fall of 2016, rock and roll legend Todd Rudgren served as an artist in residence for the Department of Film, Television, and Theater here at Notre Dame. And two years later, we're excited to announce he's coming back to Notre Dame for a special concert this fall. And joining us now to discuss Todd's time at Notre Dame and his return is Ted Mandel, associate teaching professor in the department of FTT. I'm an FTT grad, so Rocking. welcome back to Notre Dame Day, Ted. First of all, how did you convince him to come do this, and what was the reaction when he did sign on? Well, you know, he has a, a great foundation called the Spirit of Harmony Foundation that advocates for music education and youth, and so that's kind of how we connected with Todd. And um, yeah, I was kind of surprised that he said yes, and actually when he came the first time, he said, I, wa I want to teach a course, I want to work with students. And so he was here for, for 10 days. And uh, when I told people on campus who were my generation, they were like, wow, and blown over. And when I told students, they were like, who? And then they called their dad, and they were like, wow. Or they Googled, <laughs> or they Googled. That's right, that's right. So what did he teach in this 10-day course? So he was here, he taught a course called Exploring the Creative Muse, the idea of teaching students how to be more creative, thinking out of the box, um, being original in, uh, in whatever artistic uh, venture that they're, they're in. And it was really, uh, really successful and we love creative students. What do you think he brought to the Notre Dame community? You don't hear about a course like this all that often. You know, what I think it, it really showed was that we have a lot of students who are great grade getters. They're maybe engineers, biology majors, whatever. They're, they're very focused, but they have this creative side to them that they always wanted a creative outlet. They may play guitar, they may play, they may be singers. This gave them the opportunity when Todd came to actually perform with Todd in concert at the DeBartolo Performing Arts Center, which was just an amazing event. Well, we actually have another very special guest joining us now via the Notre Dame Day Hotline, the one and only Todd Rundgren, who's currently on his reunion tour with his legendary 80s band, Utopia. Hey, Todd, how's the tour going, Where and where are you playing tonight? Um, we're on our bus on our way to Dallas. Um, we did Houston last night. Um, that was our third gig, so still pretty early on in the uh, in the reunion experience we're still uh, a little bit nervous when we get on stage because of the volume of music that we have to perform um, but otherwise you know we're uh, we're feeling pretty good I think what did you love about your time here in Notre Dame that made you want to come back well I mean it's the kids really you know, the, I mean, they're kids to me. I'm almost 70 years old. But, you know, they're, um, you know, they're grown-ups. But to me, it's great to kind of interact with people who have yet to be uh, cynical about the, um, uh, about the possibilities of the future and such. So um, I always get kind of rejuvenated and refreshed whenever I get an opportunity to hang out with some with some younger uh, academics and, uh, and artists, and I kind of do this a lot. I, uh, I've done it at, at several different schools, so I just enjoy that exercise in general, and especially in a, lot, a place like Notre Dame, which is sort of, you know, a lot of people don't realize how small the campus is comparatively, and so it's a real family. Um, in that regard, and I enjoy that vibe as well. So for this special concert this fall, you have some longtime band members that will perform with you. Can you tell us about that? Well, it's the, you know, the group that I've usually been touring with. We've got Prairie Prince and Jesse Grass, Kaz and Sultan. Uh, I think uh, Greg Hawks may be part of that as well. It's my usual lineup. Um, which makes me comfortable, you know, in that sense. Sometimes I get to come and uh, improvise uh, what I'm going to do because uh, I don't do so many um, solo shows as I used to do, where it's just me and a guitar or something like that. So uh, I've got a much larger range of possibilities now that I've got my whole band with me. And it's play like a champion themed, is that right? Yeah, well, that was um, that was essentially the theme when I was there the last time, and I don't see why that would change. <laughs> <You know? laughs> All right, we're getting some early tidbits here. 
we're getting a special preview. Well, Todd and Ted, thank you both so much for joining us. Thanks Looking for forward now. to this uh, special concert coming yeah. up. The Todd student, gets to come back. Students are excited to perform with Todd. Definitely. Yeah, awesome.